Hi folks, welcome back. This is uh, session 12, Mark of Chain Monte Carlo. And now we're going to talk about annual unit key. So this uh, is another idea that was borrowed from the physicists and it comes from this Boltzmann distribution, okay? Um, the whole idea is that you have some distribution on the states that is proportional to this expectation. So you have some energy function that tells you how uh, likely this is uh, this state is, and some computation temp temperature here. And the idea is to shift this temperature to change how our uh, probability with respect of the states looks like. And what will happen is that when we have high temperatures, this value over here is going to be really small, right? And when we have small values here, this exponential, then uh, is almost close to one. So what we will have is this space that do not look like much. So we will freely move through the space and through the states. And when this temperature starts decreasing and it starts cooling off, then this exponential will kind of spike out and just show us where the uh, global optimum is here. And then we can just follow it, okay? Now, the tricky part here is how fast or how slow to cool down and change this temperature because we may get stuck into some local minima or local maxima if we do this uh, too quickly or, or, or and if we annual too slowly, we waste a lot of time to, to get there, right? And if you don't have enough iterations, you may stop in non-optimal non space, okay? Um, so what is the, the whole idea of this is Again, this is sampling, right? So we just want to sample a new state from this um, some proposal distribution. And what we want to do is just move from this X prime to this uh, uh, proposed distribution, adding some, some noise. And the whole idea is then to use some acceptance, um, uh, sorry, to use some, yeah, to use some acceptance rate as um, the exponential of the difference of the energy between these two states that we just compute. And we just use the minimum between one and this alpha state over here, okay? So the whole idea is uh, that when we have low energies, we have a high probability and vice versa. When we have high energies, we will have uh, low probabilities. And this Sanilin algorithm led us to do that exchange really, really nicely. Um, common uh, ways of setting this up, well, for our cooling schedule, that is uh, how we are going to change this temperature. We just use exponential functions, okay? So the simplest one that we can think of is this temperature with respect of iteration k, that is just uh, an initial temperature times some uh, constant and up to this uh, k iteration. And in in kind of in practice, you just put this T0 equal to one and this constant equal to 0.8. But again, this depends a lot in the type of problem and if you have some information regarding how to do this, this um, scheduling, okay? Um, another way of using this and mixing with uh, some ideas that we discussed before in the Monte Carlo session is to mix this annealing with important sampling. And the idea of this is I want to sample from one uh, uh, function, right? Original function that is actually difficult, maybe multi, uh, multi-model posterior, but I have some priors that are, are really, really easy to, to sample from. And what I wanna do is to construct then some way of going from this P of N to this P zero, okay? So I iteratively want to change my, my different distributions and go back to this hard distribution, okay? Now, the tricky part is how to do that construction. And the idea is to get, for instance, these uh, exponential uh, functions over here, such that um, they are uh, the inverse temperatures, okay? These, these betas, uh, the parameters, represent the inverse temperature. And I can then just go from F0 to uh, using F, N, and my Fj's, okay? And what I'm gonna do is then construct some Markov chain 
using this transition uh, operator over here, such that I can go from my CN minus one and then just move back all the way to my Z zero. That is the, the just the transition between Z one and my and my Z zero that I want to to compute. And then my my X is just the Z zero that I will get. And my weight is just the multiplication of, of this chain, right? Like the ratios of my of my predictions as I'm moving through the change. And it is kind of simple to show where this uh, weight is coming from because you just construct some PC distribution that is proportional to your uh, to your uh, target distribution. And then you just multiply the chain, right? So you're just moving through through the through the change to go there. And in this case, we're using this um, reversal of, of the original one. But then if you just move it back, you can just plug it and you obtain the this uh, this original distribution, which gives you the, the different uh, weight. So now using this weight, you can uh, move and transform different distributions if you if you want. So cool idea of, of changing this and having uh, some temperature parameter that, that help, helps you uh, use them. You will see that this idea of the temperature and annealing is used um, a lot in the literature. There are a lot of more advanced algorithms that borrow this idea and then try to, to use it because when you anneal, uh, then you have some advantage of, of creating more complex distribution that otherwise you, you couldn't use it. So a really, really nice technique to, to have in mind, okay? So this is it for um, sampling-based algorithms. As you see, the ideas are really intuitive, but again, I cannot stress this enough. You need to go back and check uh, some examples and see them running because they then you will get this uh, more uh, robust idea of how the these methods are working and what you can do with them okay so see you in the next session bye bye